Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com and in this video uh, I'm going to show you how to make something simple, calc, pop up on all users' desktops when they log on. So uh, here's the idea. The trick is, is that actually somebody emailed me and said that they were running through this very example in the book uh, right here, but it didn't work and it's on page 63 and I know why it didn't work so uh, this video is a shout out mostly to that guy but also to help out anybody who's tried the same thing and made it not work. So let's go ahead and show you exactly what's working and not working. So the goal again is so that whenever I log on to a particular computer over here, uh, as any user, um, on the desktop side, we're gonna make sure that it always uh, starts up the application. So we'll go ahead and create a new GPO called uh, make calc pop up at log on, which is weird because again, we're on the computer side. So if we go to uh, edit here under computer side, policies, admin templates, under system, under log on, or after here is run these programs at user log on. Now, here's what I did not do well in the book. In the book, I sort of implied, okay, I kind of, I, I guess I screwed up. I said you could use uh, percent winder percent uh, system32 uh, calc.exe, but that doesn't seem to work. So what does work is actually banging in the whole correct value. C colon backslash windows system32 calc.exe. So go ahead, we'll click OK here, and we'll click OK there. Okay, so now that's enabled. Now the only thing else that we have to do is just make sure the computer is in the right place. Now I've already done that. I've moved my computer account, Win7Computer1, into my eSales desktops, the same place that that GPO is linked. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to just uh, reboot this machine here to make sure he gets the latest, greatest uh, group policy on the computer side. And when he's done, I'll come back and we'll log on as a couple users and we'll make sure that it really worked. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and log on. I'll log on as some dude, eSales user 2, just some random guy. Log on here. And uh, after he's done logging on, we should get, boom, calc. Let's go ahead and log on as some other random guy that's maybe never logged in before. We'll log off here. And I'll go ahead and log back in as West Sales User 9. Okay. And when this guy is done logging on, he should get calc as well. So the whole point is that this particular policy is very cool. It actually affects the user even though it's on the computer side. And I do use it as an example here uh, in the book, and I figured I would do a little bit of clarity to just uh, show you. Uh, how it's all fixed now. All right, so there we go. We're all logged on as uh, this other guy, West Sales User 9, calc pops up, and that's, uh, that's how you do it. All right, so I hope I've helped you out a little bit, and I hope you feel like you want to try this out. And for more information on any of my group policy training and workshop classes, which of course go into excruciating detailed information about group policy processing, security stuff, the group policy preferences, Server 2008, R2, Windows 7, and just a whole lot of great stuff to make your life more secure and easier. I'd love to see you in one of my classes coming soon. Thanks so much. See you later.